Welcome to Elga Gitgen. I'm standing at the edge of camp, looking around the rim of the crater. This is the road that goes out to the drilling platform, about seven kilometers out in the distance. You may see a little spot, and that's where the drill rig is sitting. Panning around the lake, from where I stand near the edge of the lake, it's eight miles over to the other side. Just to the north of camp is the helicopter pad, and then we'll see some of the heavy equipment, the drill rig that was used for the permafrost coring, and now here's a view looking up the main camp street. Standing in the middle of the street up for camp, looking up the row of bollocks, which are the sleeping containers, over here is number one, one of the most important ones. You can see the shovel by the door. Really important that if you need to use number one or number two, you can use bollock number one because this is the outhouse. Looking up the street a little bit, this first one over here on the left side is home sweet home for me. So you want to look inside? Here we go. Right inside the front door is a small storage area. Also a wind lock. Over here in the corner is the coal that's used when it's really cold. And right over here is the entrance to the coal stove. Here we are inside my bollock. Right over here is my bed. And the bed's for three other guys. Two of them are for the American drillers and the other is for the Canadian ice engineer. Four of us share the room. One guy is on the night shift, three of us are on the day shift, so there's plenty of space in here, and we're not in here too much. Looking back towards the door, there's the coal stove, the inside part that heats the place when it gets really cold. Up in the ceiling are electric heaters, and they keep the place nice and warm even when it's down to about zero outside. Over here in the corner is a wash basin and sink, even with hot water. Here I'm standing in the middle of Camp Street. This is the dining room. Kitchen is on the right hand side, the dining room is on the left. In here is where we have three hot meals every day. Let's take a look inside. Here's the kitchen where our meals are prepared. And looking over to some of the tables. Here Christina and Addie are getting an early dinner before they go on the night shift. I suppose this may be the most important room on site. This is the camp office. Well, most important room if you don't call the bathroom the most important room. This is the camp office. You can see over here on the end of the building are antennas for radio communication out to the drill site as well as the antenna for the satellite internet connection. Right beside the office is another very important container. This storage container, the blue storage container, contains the core sampling laboratory. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Camp El Gigitgen. In the next couple of days, I will introduce you to the, some of the scientists and what we are doing here in the Arctic. This is Tim Martin, 2009 Polar Trek teacher at Lake El Gigitgen in northeast Siberia.